Hey y'all, this is part four, and we are going to complete a function that takes in two parameters, both numbers re representing totals for apples and oranges, determines if there are fewer apples than oranges, and if so, returns a specific string. Your function should use an if statement to determine if there are fewer apples than oranges, and if there are, should return the string, there are fewer apples than oranges. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, fewer apples. So, let's grab our stub grab our test cases, also think about what it is that we're going to accomplish with this function, and our pseudocode helps us out significantly. So fewer apples than oranges, knowing that the apples and the oranges parameters represent numbers of each one of those items, we're going to say if apples is less than oranges. And again, I'm going to wrap the curly brace around the pseudocode, you do not have to though. And then we're going to return, there are fewer apples than oranges. And if that's the case, we'll run this. The first one should say there are fewer apples, and the second one should be undefined because a function without an explicitly defined return statement, as this one is, is going to return undefined in the event that we don't hit any return statements that are in there. So if this doesn't uh, evaluate to true, which it doesn't in this case, then this return statement is never going to run, and by default the function is going to return undefined, which is why we see undefined over here. So, with that in mind, we've now completed our function. Let's go ahead and copy and paste it back into the input window. We'll run our tests, and we're in good shape. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.